Hello, this is my six principles of design. Explain it to you. Uh, my name is David Torres, and I'm presenting this to you. Uh, focal point emphasis. Basically, emphasis is created by visual reinforcement. Something we want the like the viewer to pay attention to. Focal points are areas interested in the viewers that keeps their eyes to skip. It's kind of like this apple right here coloring. You focus on the red because everything's gray, but you focus on the red. And then on this road, basically, it goes down the road like it goes line straight. So your eye is focused on where it's going next, basically. So it's going down to the river and stuff like that. So that line is leading you there. And the apple is just like, you know, everything's gray, but your eye catches the color. So, yeah. The next one is contrast. Basically, it's where the colors um, and strategy used by an artist to break up work apart. With an alternate or shattered its unity by inserting variations in many ways, contrast is the opposite of the element of unity in that it commands the viewer's attention by sh sheer force of its differences. So basically, like those cups, they're different because one's in a white spot and the one's in a gray spot, you know, or black spot, my bad. And this flower right here, it's gray, but it's orange, so it's kind of like a mixed contrast, you know, kind of vibe, something like that. So, yeah, and, like, really, you get, like, you know, the pictures, yeah, it's just contrast. This next one, I like this kind of art. It's balance. Balance refers to the sense of distribution of per perceived visual weight well, that offset one another. We f Basically, we feel more comfortable because... The branches are leaning this way, so it's kind of like if you separate this, and the the picture is balanced basically. And you gotta, if it's not balanced, you know, but you gotta balance it by adding weight. Like you had a circle on this side and a triangle on this side, it's kind of balanced in a way. But you had a you had a small circle on here and you had a big circle here, then it's gonna fall this way. So that's basically balance for you. Mm, movement. This is another one of the top of my thing. Okay. Movement is the design of element that operates in the fourth dimension time. Movement is the, pers movement is the per process of re re relocation of objects in space over time. So basically, movement is what catches your eye, like this one covering me right here. It's basically you pay attention to it a lot, and it's like, whoa, it's moving. But it's not really moving, it's a picture, but it messes with your head. To make it, you know, tell your head to be like, hey, you know, this picture is actually really moving. This next one is a famous one. Uh, you know, it kind of like, in a way, you know, you get that way you feel. Stuff like that, you get that way you feel. You're like, man, it might move, it might not. And that triangle one, it looks like it's rolling in. Kind of like rolling in, stuff like that. So... Yeah, you look at that and it's, yeah. Rhythm and pattern. Rhythm is like, you know, you get that wavy type feel. And it's a rhythm, you know, it's like pom pom, pom pom, you know, the wavy kind of feel. So that's basically this one. The pattern one's what I like most because it's basically it's art, but it's in a pattern. So it's, it's hard to explain it, but it's repeating art elements are in regular circle fashion to create interest movement and harmony and like basically it's a mixture of everything rhythm and then pattern it's like boom skip one poop skip one and so on you know well that's basically rhythm and pattern for you and the uh, unity because the unity is a principle in art that refers to say composition strategies used by an artist to make the parts of a painting or another work of art hang together as a whole through visual okay so if you look at this one with horses and stuff you might just see oh it's branches and stuff like that but in together it comes in like you know it might just be a bunch of legs bunch of shapes thrown in but in reality it's it's a whole big picture it's a big picture containing piece pieces of this pieces of that thrown in and so it gets just gets one image in there this next one is i believe it's the statue no it's not statue of liberty but i got this one because it looked cool because you don't know what's in there it's like different parts of this different parts of that throwing this throwing that and when it comes together it's like 
whoa, I just made a big picture that I didn't even know was there. So that's kind of, you know, kind of a moment. And that's this is my second favorite art. But in all, all these types of art, pretty good. And yeah, that's been my time. I think I passed five minutes. But it's okay. Thank you for your time.